Pisces gang, gang, gang. What to do, <laughs> you guys? It's your girl, Empress Seven 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 here today with a general message for my beautiful Pisces soul family. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Your girl is hyped up on coffee. I'm gonna try not to scream at y'all in too much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who I am. Y'all know exactly who I am. <laughs> Holy Angels of Spirit, guys, please give us exactly what it is that we need to know. Additionally, that is okay in regards to my beautiful Pisces soul family. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The messages, in fact, are general, you guys, okay? Take what resonates with you intuitively. Leave the rest. Cross, cross watchers, you guys are also welcome here. All right, just take things as they resonate. Place yourself where you belong in the storylines. Everybody take a moment, click that like button. Click the subscribe button if you want to make it official, okay? I would love to have you. We are on a road to, we are on the road to 100K. If you want to be a part of that process, you know what I'm saying? It's totally a flex. We are inviting you all, okay? Also, click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Let's get to some things, guys. Dare I say a wake-up call is being had? Don't know if it's too late for this person, but I feel like they really was like dancing, tap dancing, throwing block parties, throwing, you know, free before 10, bottle service, all that, all over your boundaries, man. I don't know why or what gave them the idea that endless opportunities were available here, but I'm hearing very strongly that it has to do, okay, come on now. Yeah, this person doesn't cooperate or they didn't in the past. This is These are all things that they are now acknowledging, okay? So there's a level of accountability here. I'm hearing that this person thought the unlimited options or the unlimited chances were there because of the love that you had for them, okay? Or have for them. I do feel like this person potentially was playing with you, okay? Playing in your face, playing with your worth in your face. So what I heard, that's not me. That's what they see. And it's not until they feel like they're in danger of this actually being done or this being the last chance or there being no more chances potentially that they're now feeling, you know, what this was all really worth. It's really hitting home, you guys. OK, it's hitting them. I'm hearing it's hitting them hard. I hear a little bit of, you know, tears have fallen. They may have begged you or they might be coming in to beg you for another chance. I do get that you may have given this person like a lot of warnings, but they were waiting for you to like really be serious about it. But here's the gag. This person never really took it serious when you would tell them what you plan to do or the disconnection that was on its way in or you were going to start seeing other people if they didn't start taking you more seriously or if they didn't commit. Because for some of you, this is like a non-committal type of person or they're scared of commitment, but they actually really like love you. See, it says too much too motherfucking soon, but that's not the case. I feel like this person may have been trying to string you along for the sake of their own fears in terms of relationships, right? They don't like things getting too close. They don't like you know, the idea of having a title, but they like the benefits that come with um, having you close, having you around, having access. So, okay, that's what they're saying. They like access, but they don't necessarily like responsibility. You see what I'm saying? So I do feel like they either played in your face about a commitment or they were just playing in your face, period. Okay, in terms of what you were telling them that you needed, okay? Or the worth in which they were kind of portraying, like how they valued you. So maybe this person took your emotions for a weakness, right? You may have really come through for this person on numerous occasions. They didn't look at the ways in which you came through for them. So what that means is you showed up for them in times where they really needed it, where they were either down and out or they were experiencing some kind of tragedy or they were experiencing some kind of emergency or they were experiencing some kind of loss, some kind of need for resources, support, all of the above. For some of you, you showed up for them. This is the type of person who did not look at that as Oh, you value me. You value the connection. That is you showing your loyalty. That is you showing your love for me. They kind of looked at you as a simp. They don't feel that way anymore. 
feel like this person thought that you were a sucker for love and now whatever the dynamics are they're really getting a rude awakening that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing that they are they're feeling this you guys okay on a very deep and emotional level this person wants to come in and express love they want to express emotions they definitely want another chance do i pull from this deck they're saying no use another deck last chance they're like i just need one more chance and then this let them feel your worth card i feel like not only did you did you let them know how much you value yourself with how you're moving now or how you're treating them this is the type of person where you kind of got to treat them like shit in order for them to actually get the memo which is wild because i feel like you're a really lovable person you are pisces don't fuck with nobody okay let me tell you something that i know about a pisces a pisces is not gonna start shit they don't mess with people they, they're not gonna fuck with you right very laid back super duper chill till you hit that button bitch you hit that button it's over for you like you there there literally sometimes is no coming back you don't really get a warning for the last chance because once it's the last chance you never hear from them again you hear me <laughs> you feel me i'm talking to your person now so it's like they are getting they're like shaking in their boots you guys okay so i don't know how many cycles you've had with this person but it's like not until now it's not really until now so it's something about the moment it's either been so long it's been longer than what they anticipated maybe you said something to them maybe you didn't say nothing to them it's something about right now okay it definitely feels like something in the moment i feel like this person might be experiencing some sleepless nights i feel like the sleepless nights are due to them thinking about you moving forward or moving on somebody else potentially having a chance to treat you the way that they should have they are really running through their mind like running through the the conversations the last conversation or the last couple of conversations especially if you ghosted this person did you ghost did you go ghost you either ghosted them or the ending happened abruptly they didn't have time to gather themselves if they ghosted you they did try to come back and you weren't there <laughs> oh my god yeah it's a shock this person experienced a surprise tell me down below i have to know y'all know i'm nosy okay i read all the comments so just send me a little hey girl hey tell me what you're gonna do for your birthday y'all know y'all got up next okay spirit what additionally goes with this i'm so nosy what what is this about the hidden okay so something is definitely hidden you guys okay or they feel like it is this person okay i feel like somebody went silent either you went quiet and they weren't expecting it or they went quiet and they always expect to be able to come back but then when they did you weren't there what the f I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back into their life okay you may view this person as somebody who kind of placed this evil eye energy on your life or on your energy like towards you it possibly took you a long time to get over this person you might not want to revisit this but it's here for a reason i'm definitely interested to know if they're coming back because because they're the ones that got dropped right it's like the gimme gotcha this does give me the type of person who like i said they get multiple chances so they do fuck around because they have so many opportunities to do that not just with you and connections from the past as well so this is like a brutal lesson for this person if in fact this is the last chance for them this could be the beginning of their karmic cycle if they have been trying to reach you and you block them they are trying to manifest you to come back around i feel like this person kept it hidden how they actually felt about you okay because they're not like um speaking the hidden card they said the hidden card along with my love for you is real right wow i've run from relationships it's really not the idea of saying that you have a girlfriend or have a boyfriend for this person it's like what they think they'll have to become or what they think they'll have to do or what they think they'll be responsible for because of the title so they do take relationships serious i will give that to you this is potentially why they run from them and i do feel like they may have saw some really fucked up relationships in their life i'm gonna be honest with that one okay their parents somebody stayed together when they should not have 
And this makes this person like it makes their skin crawl to think about like commitment. You know what I mean? Even though they like have been in love before, they potentially have never had like a long term relationship before. Or, and for some of you, they possibly never told someone that they love them. It doesn't matter how old they are. They possibly never use the term. This is the type of person where you'll say, I, I think I love you or I love you. And they'll be like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Did you hear me? Bitch? Did you hear me? Hello? Ding, ding. And it's not that they don't also feel that way. It's just a lot. It's a lot for this person to deal with. It's a lot for them to take. That's not your fault, right? These are their own traumatic experiences that they need to unpack and understand about themselves because now it's not until now that these lessons are really hitting them. I feel like they've been able to get away from this. Like they've been able to move on from relationships in which they did, you know, happen to fall in love because the chances were never over you see what i'm saying they could still go back to some of their exes they could still call some of their exes and tell them to give them 50 dollars and shit like that they still have a hold over multiple exes that they loved but they don't love them like they're not in love with those people i feel like this person is kind of sort of feeling like they're in love with you so even me just now like the phrase that they just gave me it wouldn't commit to it right this literally says my love for you is real right it's hidden so the way that they had me say it was still like not standing 10 toes down on it there's still no commitment to it right kind of sort of might be in love with you maybe like what the fuck are you talking about bro <laughs> what are you talking about why are you here <laughs> Cause let me tell you something right now. Now I'm talking to your person. You know, y'all, I get extra sensitive. I love y'all like my family and I don't like people fucking around with y'all energy, right? I don't like people just coming around thinking they can do whatever the fuck they want to do and taking advantage of the purity of your heart. Pisces are very loving people, but like I said, fuck around. You will find out what they're capable of. A Pisces can really hurt you. <laughs> people really don't, they get that twisted, you know? I feel like they really get that twisted. They take your kindness for weakness. They take your chill energy as like doormat energy. And that's a total lie. You will be so surprised with how heartbroken you will be when they're there one moment and then poof, they're gone. Or they're there and they're chilling and you poke them, you poke them, you poke them. And then the goldfish turns into the great white. A shark, bitch. You got that right. I'm not just a little koi fish. I'm cute to look at. Yeah, pretty, handsome, okay. Look good, look tasty, look like a snake on it. To where people feel like they can try you. They don't know the hidden side, right? There's duality there, okay? You are sweet. You are very sweet. To those who are deserving, right? So you may have also learned some lessons about that as well, about your own resources and the impact they can have, like how to make them work for you and not letting people use you. You see what I'm saying? They're, those are your gifts, right? Like just your aura in and of itself. You need to view it as a privilege, right? Let people feel your worth. Don't just be giving away your jewels, right? Don't just like allow people access. Baby, fuck that. You see what I'm saying? It needs, you need to definitely start discerning who you allow around you. That's in all levels, guys, right? All relationships. So like I said, you may have learned some lessons as well. So now, so it's like, you're not even committing in the reading. I'm talking to your person again, okay? Because I'm getting a little bit exasperated with this bitch. I'm getting so I'm getting a little bit tired, a little bit annoyed with you, baby. Okay, ma'am, sir, bro, sis. It's either real or it's not. You're either gonna admit it or you're not. You're either gonna show the fuck up and put it all on the line, or get the fuck out of here. Seriously, that's how I feel, you guys. That's how I feel about it. Because something tells me that this person, yes, they are addressing their actual feelings for you only because it didn't disappear like it did in the past, right? Like I said, with those exes, I feel like they do love those people or they want, they once were in love with those, with, with those individuals, not in love. They loved them. They have love for them. They've never been in love and they've never brought themselves to be vulnerable enough to like really express true love for someone. I'm going to be very honest with that. Okay. So the stakes are high for this person because I feel like still the hesitation in the way that spirit had me phrase it a moment ago, 
I kind of sort of maybe might be all that shit that's gonna put you in danger ma'am sir bro sis I don't advise this I don't I feel like Pisces let you off easy I do I feel like you could have been way more savage to this person than you were I do Let's see where this is going. Let's let's just pull a bit. Let's pull. Let's pull a little bit of tarot. Let's see if we can't get in their mind. Either way it goes, what has been hidden? I'm hearing the phrase um, "what's done in the dark will come to light." So whether they're able to manifest you turning back around towards them, this is somebody who's going to feel this unbelievable urge, right? Undeniable urge to come in and confess to you what they feel but that hesitation shit is really what's giving me pause and I don't advise that ma'am sir bruh sis I feel like you're gonna get your fucking head bit off I do I like Pisces let you off easy you came and swam with the sharks and they was like okay now go on now go on back to the shore now and now you want to come back for more you will be dinner bitch you will be dinner you will be a souffle ho you will be the motherfucking <laughs> You're going to be the filet mint. No. Okay. They're going to chew you to pieces. I just, I don't advise this. So I'm hoping that that is past energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm being hopeful. Um, that they're not going to play around with you like this. They have been known to play with you before. I don't advise this. I feel like you're not, like you are operating in the other side that they have not seen yet. You're ready to bite this bitch's head off. You're ready to curse them out if you need to. And you will do it without thinking. Very irrational behavior that you got going on here. I feel like you either, you, like I said, you let this person off easy. Okay. You didn't turn into the shark that you could have. For some of you, letting them off easy is like by not saying anything at all and just going about your business. But if they come back, you won't even think twice about taking one of these swords to their motherfucking neck. I'm just telling them. I'm telling them right now. Look, <laughs> you're going to shatter them. You're not going to hold anything back. And I get that. I just feel like this person is not reading the room, y'all. I just don't think that they are. It could be their arrogance. Look, seven of, seven of cups. That's somebody who knows that they have multiple options. They have so many people. All of my exes love me. Everybody loves me. You know, I'm God's gift to this world. Everybody wants to be with me. They lie to themselves, right? About their own worth. They have to do that because I do feel like, you know, this person does want love, but they struggle with loving like their life. I don't get that they don't think that they look good. I don't get that they're like insecure about their looks and like shallow shit, but they might be insecure about like how they, how they grew up, their family dynamic shit, you know, foundational shit. It's a little shaky. So they put 20 on 10 in areas of life that don't really matter. And in their mind, nobody has ever stuck the 10 of swords to them, right? Like told them how it was, told them, you know, how they really feel, where they can take their apology and where they can shove that shit, shattering their ego. They've never experienced it before. And I, I don't get that they, I don't get that they suspect that that is what they're running into. I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. So you coming back around, we have the nine of swords, right? Because you're stressed the fuck out, right? You're, the emotions haven't evaporated like they did in the past, right? So you're struggling and you want to know what Pisces is doing and who Pisces is doing and why Pisces just disappear or why Pisces is not answering the phone or why Pisces ain't come back and see about you. And then if you do speak to Pisces, are you still on this type of shit? Because then we all going to cut you like I ain't even lit. <laughs> I will condone it. I condone that shit. Curse they ass the fuck out. Let everybody have it. They mama, they daddy, their grandmama, their kids, everybody. Let them have it. Because because why? What what is even the point? Right? So yeah, they're not confused about your worth. They never were, you guys. They never were. But I do feel like based on the truth is, right? Based on the kind of people that they dealt with in the past, people who still want them. Even with your worth, they still felt like they were worth more because all the relationships in the past would suggest that they were. It was just habitual, right? It was just a pattern. 
Now they're noticing that that is not the truth, right? That that is not real. That's an illusion. You were possibly dealing with people who are struggling with the same thing as you. Pisces is on another frequency level, which is why you're now surprised that you're no longer in their life. I don't get that this person feels entitled. I get that they are not reading the room, you guys, okay? They never dealt with this before. Somebody who just didn't want to get back with them. Somebody who's refusing to give them another chance. That never happens, right? Possibly even in their household. Because they're kind of pointing back to that analogy or that scenario, potential scenario, about the parents. So if the parents stayed together for the kid, the relationship was effed up. The household was effed up. If the parents divorced, then both parents gave them whatever the fuck they wanted. This, your person. They got whatever they wanted. They didn't really, you know, they always got another chance. They didn't get on punishment. They didn't, you know, they, they kind of were spoiling them for the sake of not wanting them to feel the effects of the fucked up relationship that them as parents brought this person into. And so it definitely stagnated their development, you guys, in terms of how they view relationships and their emotional um, maturity. Yeah, you brought a tower to this person, you guys. Whatever you did, it's a tower. And for some of you, this tower didn't show up <laughs> until months later. I'm telling you, right? Tell me how long it's been since you've been in contact with this person. And that's how long it took the tower to come. Like, it's just like they're now just realizing, wow, you're not like all the other girls. You're not like all the other guys. They would have been up my ass trying to get back with me. They would have been up my ass trying to see what it, what it, what it is. What, what What's what? You know, are we working something out? Can we, wh where is this going? Are we really done? for sure Ciao. <laughs> okay yeah they're used to dealing with desperate people you guys I'm sorry I listen I tried to be nice I didn't want to say it that way about the people from their past that's what they said, not me. And I do feel like their desire to win left them with this inability to kind of take accountability for whatever you were needing them to do prior to your dismissing yourself. You definitely dismissed yourself. Reconciliation is in the reverse. You tell me, I listen, I'm, I'm going to say it's crossing. You all feel different about this situation. What's really going to determine whether or not things are salvageable is their changes. Time, of course, plays a role in that. We have strategizing. Yep, see, I feel like something happens so you can determine how your all your scenarios will unfold would have unfolded differently i gave you examples but take that how it resonates right with where this situation ended or paused for some of you right where the disconnect came so i feel as though it takes time before this person gets to this point it's a tower for them. It comes out of nowhere. It's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. It could be triggered by a, a situation, an instance, right? Like I said, if you were used to showing up for this person, they could be experiencing a hardship or going through something or something happens and then they all of a sudden notice you're not there. For some of you, it could be that they were just waiting, right? Because their arrogance due to the desperation of their people from the past. That is why they became arrogant. That's why they're not reading things correctly. That's why they pegged you to be a certain way when your worth is kind of on another level. It's not that these people from the past are not worthy or that they should not be valued. It's just that they didn't they don't value themselves. That ain't you. So I do feel like it takes a little bit of time for this person kind of this this tower is going to hit them, you guys. And then all of a sudden they're like, well. What am I supposed to do? And this is when the worry sets in, right? And it's all due to, like I said, this something happened with those parents. I don't mean to be blaming their parents, but the relationships that they have witnessed have really kind of fucked them up, you guys, right? 
and I do feel like an epiphany is going to hit this person. This is when they're going to be showing back up. Now, let's go over to the extended, okay? I will definitely see what changes they have made. Let's see what they intend to do to finally make things work or bring things together in their mind. What is their idea of reconciliation? We'll also look to see if there have been any transformations or changes, or are they just now, like, desperate themselves, wanting to see if they can still pull you you know what i mean that's the bullshit that i'm not on we're not on that okay so we're going to want to make sure that that's not the case let's see what their intentions are right if there are any ulterior motives that you need to be aware of in reference to why this person is coming back around now because for some of you it's been an extended amount of time okay let's see what their next steps are and i also want to see the time frame of when you can be expecting this to come in whether you decide to deal with this person or not that just allows you to be prepared for whatever is going to show up it might actually be a tower for you when this person shows back up which just means like a surprise you might be very shocked surprised with when they show up and how okay i also want to know what you get out of all of this, right? Is it worth it, okay? Let's see if this is worth your time. Let's see how things will turn out if you do decide to re-engage with this person. Um, are you just heading towards the same kind of ending or does it have the real potential to grow and move into something long-term, okay? I also wanna see what your next cycle looks like. Whether you decide to deal with this person or not, we'll look at both new love and money, okay? And I'll get advice as well. So please click the like button, click the subscribe button, and the notification bell. I'm gonna put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box. I'm gonna see y'all over there. Let's go.